Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about constructing a pie graph based on a given set of data and interpret it. In our daily lives, we deal with so much information that we need to be organized to see the possible outcome of events. When we do this, we deal with a specific branch of mathematics, which is statistics. What is statistics? Statistics is the collection, organization, presentation, interpretation, and analysis of data. To understand fully our lesson for today, let's study this example. The People Government of San Miguel Elementary School has earned enough proceeds to put up a new sports center in their school. This is the reason why they did a survey on the favorite sport of their fellow students. Below are the results of the survey. Make a tally and organize the answers in tabular form. The respondents used the following code A for volleyball, B for basketball, C for chess, D for swimming, and E for badminton. Presenting the survey data and the tally. We have 50 respondents in this survey. After we tally the survey result, then we will make a table to organize the data. In our example, for the first column, it represents the kind of sport and for the second column, it is the frequency. The frequency is from the result of the tally. So we have for volleyball, the frequency is 14. For basketball, it is 12. For chess, it is 8. For swimming, the frequency is 9. And for badminton, it is 7. Then, don't forget to put a title to the table presented. In this example, the title is San Miguel Elementary School Pupils' Favorite Sport. Data gathered and organized can be presented using graphs. One of these is the pie graph. Pie graphs are used to show the percentage of a quantity in each of the several categories. It can also be used to easily visualize the ratio of one category to another. These are the steps in constructing a pie graph. Number one, find the angle measure for each section. Number two, draw a circle using a compass. Number three, use a protractor to draw each angle measure. Then, level each section. Number four, write a title for the graph. Before we're going to construct a pie graph, Let's find first the angle measure for each category. To do it, we find first the total respondents. So we add 14, 12, 8, 9, and 7. And the result is equal to 50. Next, we find how many percent each sport represents. So from the fraction, which is this 2%, 
then from percent we change this to decimal and to get the angle measure we multiply it to 360 degrees 360 degrees is the total angle measurement of a circle so let's solve first for the variable the frequency is equal to 14 and the total respondents is 50 so the fraction is 14 over 50 to change fraction to percent we can divide directly 14 divided by 50 then we're going to multiply the result by 100 then put the percent sign for percent and we can do like this also we think a number that if we're going to multiply it to 50 the result is 100 because as we all know that percent means per hundredths so what number is that yes you are right 50 times 2 the answer is equal to 100 we multiply 2 also with our numerator which is 14 so 14 times 2 is equal to 28 28 hundredths in percent this is 28 percent to get the angle measure we're going to change percent to decimal so 28 percent is equal to 28 hundredths so 360 degrees times 28 hundredths is equal to 100.8 degrees for basketball the frequency is 12 and the total respondents is 50 then we can do like this also we multiply it by 100 first we're going to divide 100 divided by 50 is equal to 2 then we're going to multiply the result to 12 and the answer is equal to 24 24 hundredths is equal to 24 percent then change 24 percent to decimal the answer is equal to 24 hundredths 360 degrees times 24 hundredths is equal to 86.4 degrees Let's organize the results in a table. construct a circle using a compass use a protractor to draw its angle measure after we constructed a pie graph then let's label each section <music> lastly we write a title for the graph this is the way how we're going to construct a pie graph 
Now let's interpret the graph. Let's answer some questions. What is the most favorite sport of the pupils in San Miguel Elementary School? What do you think the answer? Yes, you are right. The largest section in the graph, 28%, represents those who have chosen volleyball as their favorite sport. So, volleyball is the most favorite sport of the pupils in San Miguel Elementary School. Next question. How many percent of pupils choose swimming as their favorite sport? What do you think, Dancer? Alright. As we see in the graph that 18% of pupils choose swimming as their favorite sport. Another question. What sport gained 16% of the total number of votes. What do you think, Dancer? Very good. The sport gained 16% of the total number of votes is chess. Last question. How many pupils voted badminton as their favorite sport? What is your answer? All right. The number of pupils voted badminton as their favorite sport is 14% out of 50 pupils, which is equal to 7. So, there were 7 pupils who voted badminton as their favorite sport. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.